ஹலோ டெவலப்பர்ஸ் வி ஆர் இந்த பார்ட் த்ரீ வீடியோ ஆஃப் ஆட்மாம் ஆட்ஸ் இன்டிகிரேஷன் இன் ஆண்ட்ராய்ட் ஆப் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ ஆம் கோயிங் டு ஷோ யூ ஹவு டு இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் பேனர் ஆட்ஸ் இன் ஆண்ட்ராய்ட் ஆப் ஹியர் ஐ ஆம் அஸ்யூமிங் யூ ஹவ் கம்ப்ளீட்டட் த இனிஷியல் கான்ஃபிகரேஷன் ஸ்டெப்ஸ் ஃபார் யுவர் ஆப் லைக் சைனிங் இன் டு ஆட்மாப் அக்கௌண்ட் கிரியேட்டிங் த ஆட்மாப் ஆப் ஐடி பை ரெஜிஸ்டரிங் யுவர் ஆப் வித் ஆட்மாப் ஆடிங் த ஆப் ஐடி இன் யுவர் ஆண்ட்ராய்ட் மேனிஃபெஸ்ட் ஃபைல் ஆடிங் த கூகுள் மொபைல் ஆட்ஸ் எஸ்டிகே டிபெண்டன்சி in your apps build.gradle file and initializing the ads sdk in the main activity of your app i have explained all these steps in the part 1 video if you have not completed it then go watch this video and configure your app for admob ads integration i will give this link in the description box okay now coming to the banner ads the banner ads are rectangular ads that occupy a portion of an app's layout they stay on screen while users are interacting with the app there are different types of banner ads adaptive collapsible standard and smart adaptive banners are the newest generation of banner ads and offer the best user experience they are intended to replace smart and standard banners and these adaptive banners are again two types anchored adaptive and inline adaptive banners Anchored adaptive banners are always fixed to the screen's top or bottom whereas inline adaptive banners are shown in scrollable content and collapsible banner ads are initially presented as a larger overlay with a button to collapse them to the originally requested banner size in this video i will explain how to implement anchored adaptive banner ads and collapsible banner ads because these two banner ads are very simple and easy to implement and they stay on screen while users are interacting with the app if you want me to make a video on how to implement inline adaptive banner ads then leave a message in the comments box i will do a separate video on this topic okay let's start implementing banner ads to display ads in android app first we need to create add unit id in admob account log in to admob account select the app go to add units click on get started we are implementing banner ads so select banner ad format here enter the add unit name enter a unique name which will help you find this add unit later for example include add format name and on which activity or screen you are implementing this ad so that it will help you analyze which ad unit is getting you more earnings i have named it as banner adaptive home screen okay now click on create ad unit new ad units may take up to an hour to start showing ads okay that's okay we can test with test ads initially so this is app id we have already added this in our manifest file in the part 1 video and this is ad unit id created for my adaptive banner ad now click on done okay ad unit was created next step implement anchored adaptive banner ads go to android studio this is my app i want to implement banner ad at the bottom of this screen above the navigation view bar so you decide where do you want to place the banner ad in your app go to that particular layout file place add view in the layout add view select the width match parent height wrap content specify the id banner add view add the constraint values if you are adding this add view in linear layout or relative layout you don't need to add this but make sure to align the add view at the identified position on screen okay added the add view to the top of the navigation view and this fragment has to be to the top of the add view yes add view was added in the layout now let's load and display this add view open the activity class for which you have added the add view in the layout make sure mobile ads sdk was initialized before loading the add now let's write a method to load the banner ad create add view object 
set the add unit id to the add view go to your admob account copy this add unit id create a string variable for add unit id paste the add unit id but while coding and testing the app with ads we should use test add ids instead of our original add ids so go to the android developer page this is the dedicated test add unit id for android banners so add this unit id in the code create an another string variable for test unit id copy this here copy this here this is the test add unit id you need to replace this with the original add unit id while publishing the app on play console now set the add size let's create a separate method to get the add size based on the screen display width inside this method first calculate width pixels create a display matrix object get the add width pixels from display matrix dot width pixels but if the device android os version is 11 or higher that is sdk int value is 30 or higher then we need to get the width pixels from window matrix instead of display matrix window matrix equal to get window manager dot get current window matrix assign add width pixels equal to window matrix dot get bounds dot width now calculate density display matrix dot density okay this is float value next calculate the add width add width pixels divided by density now return the add size add size dot get current orientation anchored adaptive banner add size pass the values context this and add width okay get add size method is ready pass that add size here next create the add container view equal to find view by id id is banner add view remove all views from add container view and add this new add view now load the add for that create add request new add request dot builder dot build call add view dot load add of add request okay load banner method is done now call this method in on create method after the initialization of mobile ads sdk yes the implementation part is done by adding just two methods next step is test the adaptive banner ads run the app it opens an emulator see the test banner ad is displayed on the screen same ad is displayed on all the fragments because i added this banner ad on main activity class if you want to show different ads on every fragment then implement the ad view on every fragment layout okay now let's check the real ads instead of test ads change the ad unit id to your apps banner ad unit id now run the project okay still displaying the test ads because we are running the app on emulator android emulators are automatically configured as test devices so to check the ads we need to run the app on real devices let me connect to my device over wi-fi if you don't know how to connect to the device using wi-fi then watch this video okay my device was connected let me start the physical mirroring also so that i can mirror my device on android studio itself now run the app on the device yes 
Yes, the real banner ad is getting displayed in the app. But be careful while testing these real ads. If you click on too many ads without being in test mode, you risk your account being suspended. So better to use test ads while coding, testing and debugging. And replace it with your own ad unit ID before publishing your app. Okay, relaunch the app. Sometimes the ad may not be displayed because of ad refreshing time. Go to AdMob account, select the banner ad unit, click on advanced settings, edit this automatic refresh time, select custom, you can enter the ad refreshing interval in seconds. Range is from 30 to 150 seconds, currently ad is refreshing every 2 minutes. Let's change it to 30 seconds, click on save. Now let's run the app. Every 30 seconds the ad will be refreshed. Yes, banner ad is refreshed automatically. Okay, now let's see how to implement collapsible banner ads. This is simple if you already know how to implement anchored adaptive banner ads because we are going to include just two lines of code to the adaptive banner ads to display collapsible banner ads. Create bundle extras, set an extras parameter with collapsible as the key and the placement of the ad as the value. I am adding bottom placement because my ad is placed at the bottom of the screen. If your ad is placed at the top of the screen then use the value top. Now add this extras bundle to the add request builder. Add mob adapter dot class comma extras. That's all. Implementation is done. Just adding the extras to the adaptive banner ads does the job. Okay, next test the collapsible banner ads. If you want you can create a separate banner ad unit id or you can use this for collapsible banner ad. But to test the collapsible banner ads there is a dedicated demo ad unit id. Go to the developers page, collapsible, copy this ad unit id. These two unit IDs I will mention in the description box. You can copy them for your app testing purpose. Okay, change the add unit ID to collapsible test add unit ID. Run the project. Yes, this is the collapsible banner ad. User can click on this arrow to minimize the ad. Then it will be shown as an adaptive banner ad. Okay, now let's run on the device. Yes, the collapsible banner ad is visible, but it is showing the test ad. Let's try with the real ad unit ID. Change it to ad unit ID banner and run the project. This is the real collapsible banner ad displayed on the device. On final note, always use test ads while coding, debugging and testing the app. And make sure to update this to real ad unit id while publishing the app in play console. But avoid too many clicks on ads when the app is in testing tracks. Hope you understood how to implement adaptive and collapsible banner ads. Comment if this video was helpful for you, like the video and subscribe to Ireka Tech Solutions to not miss my next video on implementation of interstitial ads. Thank you.